Good day. In this video, we are going to do quite a few riders that uses this rule that states the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. Looking at this triangle, it says that the red angle, the exterior angle of this triangle, is the same size as the two blue angles added together. Remember in geometry, if we write something, we will write statements and give reasons for our statements. In this case, we will write angle C1 is equal to angle A plus angle B, and our reason would be exterior angles of a triangle. This is the abbreviation we will use for this long statement. You can also call this angle C1 angle DCA with a cap on the C, and then that is equal to angle A plus angle B. Looking at this example, if that exterior angle is 100 degrees, then those two angles together will also be 100 degrees. For instance, 60 plus 40 is 100, and then that is 100. Exterior angle of triangle. Let us look at the way to answer some of the following riders. They gave us this sketch. They gave us this triangle, triangle DEFD, with an exterior angle here at F2. They told us angle E size is X. That angle is 20 degrees, that exterior angle is 60 degrees. They call this angle F1 and angle F2. And they can ask, find the value of X, or say, find the size of angle E, the angle over there. It is good to write the word statement and reason. It will remind you to put statements and give reasons for your statements. You may write, X plus 20 degrees equals 60 degrees. And your reason, exterior angle triangle. Now we solve for x, we minus 20 on both sides, then your answer is x equals to 40 degrees. You can also say angle E is 40 degrees. And I like to fill it in on the sketch for in case we need it. Please stop the video and get your brain around the solution. The next problem you might run into might look like this. They give you this sketch and they do a statement and reason for you at the bottom and they leave out a piece of your statement. That you must find the answer for. So they say that angle A plus that angle D1 will be equal to which angle that is an exterior angle to them. And you have to fill in angle B2. Angle B2 is the exterior angle that is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. They could also have given you this statement and asked you to fill in the reason over here. And you would then write exterior angle triangle. You must also get your head around it that there is more than one exterior angle at a triangle. We find an exterior angle by taking one of the sides of the triangle and going straight out, or any other side and just go straight out. Before we do two more riders, remember, you may send a message to this number to arrange a personalized online lesson in mathematics. The next problem looks like this. They give us this triangle, G, E, F, G. They tell us the size of that angle is what you see there. The size of that angle is that, and the size of that angle is that. So determine the value of x. Then you may write 6x minus 15 degrees is equal to 3x plus 2x plus 12 degrees. So that exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. Your reason, exterior angle triangle. And we just solve for x with a normal equation. Then keep the left hand side, 6x minus 15. On the right hand side, we have 3x plus 2x is 5x plus 12. Then to solve for x, you minus 5x on both sides and you add 15 on both sides. The final answer, x equals to 27 degrees. And you may leave out this red writing in geometry. You can do the calculations in your head. Please stop the video and get your head around this solution. Now, a typical exam question might look something like this. They give us this triangle. They give us all this information about the triangle. They ask us to work out the size of angle F, that whole angle down there, the angle D1, the angle over there. And then they say, what type of triangle is this triangle DEFD? There are different ways to answer this question. So let's show you a possible solution. First, we solve for X. We say this 116 degrees is equal to that plus that exterior angle of a triangle. And we solve for x. We can keep the 116 degrees. 2x plus x is 3x. 
minus 48 plus 14 is minus 34 degrees plus 34 degrees on both sides so 3x is 150 degrees and we divide by 3 on both sides so x equals to 50 degrees so now we can work out what the value of f is f is x plus 14 degrees they wrote in there we worked out x was 50 degrees so it's 50 plus 14 final the size of angle f is 64 degrees and I like to fill it in on the sketch in case we need it in future. Next, they ask us to work out the size of angle D1. One possible solution is, you may write D1 plus 116 degrees is 180 degrees. The reason, angles on a straight line. Those two angles are adjacent supplementary. That means they add up to 180 degrees. Now we can solve for D1. We minus 116 degrees on both sides. So D1 is equal to 64 degrees, and I like to fill it in on the sketch. The last question asks, what type of triangle is triangle DEF? The answer is, triangle DEF is an isosceles triangle, but now I must give a reason. Your reason is two angles equal. In an isosceles triangle, two sides are equal, and the two angles opposite those sides are equal. Please stop the video and get your head around this solution. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy geometry.